All right, let's be honest. I really thought he was gonna say ho, 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 motherfucker in this movie. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Violent Night. I just saw this yesterday. This movie, despite being a complete and utter mess, is actually really fun. This film follows Santa Claus played by David Harbour. He doesn't like being Santa. He doesn't like the idea of Christmas anymore. Everyone just wants video games or cash. All the while he goes to this one house that is owned by these rich people who are rich for reasons. And there's this little dynamic going on between a father and a, and a mother who are separated and they're trying to kind of rekindle that while with their daughter who has a little radio to Santa Claus thanks to her dad. And then all of a sudden John Leguizamo and probably Probably the most inefficient and stupid goons of all time who are trying to appear like they know how to play Call of Duty appear at this house and they're all trying to get the money inside the house. And truly speaking, I, this feels like a first draft. The amount of inefficiencies, the amount of stupid people, the amount of very haphazardly written story elements in this film should rip this film apart. Yet it's still fun for a multitude of reasons. The first being David Arbor. Fantastic casting. This guy basically got to redeem himself for Hellboy. Now, not to say that he wasn't bad as Hellboy. I thought he was okay, but he didn't stand a chance next to Ron Perlman. But that movie in general, that reboot was fucking garbage. This movie, while having issues, is held up to a, such a high standard because he's in this film. His betrayal of Santa Claus not only the character you know, but this backstory that we get about this Santa Claus and his history, his past, <laughs> the, his violent kind of aspects to him, what he does in this movie, I have to think that it's because of movies like John Wick and Nobody and Bullet Train and hell, Day Shift that came out this year, that we're now getting into this realm of, hey, you know, if it sounds like a stupid idea, why don't we put some fantastic action and stunt choreography into it? And even the action in this movie isn't that great either. I would say that if you had a comparison, being Nobody, which came out a couple of years ago, funnily enough, also filmed in Winnipeg. Shout out to the Winnipeg guys for getting two fucking awesome action movies to work on in the last few years. Violent Night is a toned down version of that in terms of how it's put together. There is some fighting at the beginning of the movie and then a lot of stuff doesn't happen, but then once it gets into this barn, that's when the movie kicks off. The latter half of the film really delves into the violence and the fun and the humor of this movie. There's also a little bit of playing along with the magic of Santa, with his bag being filled with like you know with unlimited presence and his ability to go up uh, chimneys and whatnot i love that i kind of wish they did a little bit more with that but i guess there's only so much magic that santa claus is known for something that i'm going to refer to day shift again i remember it having a very poor story but i did like the creativity they went to with the fight choreography being with vampires and doing unnatural things and very kind of contortionist kind of choreography. This one delves into that humor a bit. The fact that there is a massive violent sequence to a Brian Adams Christmas song is so wonderful. I cannot begin to describe to you how big the smile on my face was. It was so hilarious. It was so violent. It was so cheerful somehow maybe because of brian adams no reason why this movie had to be as good as it is and there are a ton of flaws with this john leguizamo's character is terrible he is such a piss poor villain in this movie considering how good of a guy they of a thief and a mastermind villain they make him out to be at the beginning of the movie that shit's tossed out real fast because his band of idiots soon reveal their true colors and some of the deaths and some of the kills are just brain dead but it's like you know what this is a fun time while this movie does have so many issues that should make this a negative movie it is held up by david arbor as a fantastically violent uh, santa claus and not to be mistaken for goldberg and slay knight or silent silent slay or whatever the fuck that movie was you have a bunch of turns on Christmas music that's been kind of t altered a little bit to make it sound a little bit more action-packy, more dramatic and whatnot. Very good points to the uh, composer of this film. You've got a great additions of other 
Christmas songs that aren't really well played. Like that Brian Adams one, did not expect that. And then the the wholesomeness of the ending. It's like, it's so fucking sappy, but it's still so fun. So in the end, I'm gonna give Violent Night a 4 out of 7. It's a very generous 4 out of 7, but it is a very heartfelt 4 out of 7 as well. It's a fun movie. It's dumb, but it's fun, and it's like these kind of movies we kind of wanted to see more and more of. I feel that nobody, if you saw nobody, I wouldn't be surprised if this isn't made by pretty much the exact same people. You're gonna get the same outcome as that movie did. So, anyways guys, that's my last movie review for the year. I didn't do many reviews this year, I do apologize for that. I do want to try and do it better next year. I was just so exhausted with everything I had to do with my business this year that being in front of the camera, it was a little bit, you know, not exactly as encouraging to me as it was because I was behind it so much this year. I'm going to be releasing my best movies of 2022 in the next few days, so keep an eye out for that. I might do a worse list, maybe might do a disappointing list because there are a few films on there, but best is coming out first, so make sure to keep your eye out for that. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.